Well, yeah, what you're looking at there, um, the building that isn't nice looking, uh, the one that's purple, I don't know why it's lighted up like that. That is the Intercontinental Hotel. It was opened up in 1929 um, as some kind of a really fancy gym. It closed a few, a few years later because of the Depression. Um, and I, I don't know the whole history between then when it became the Intercontinental Hotel, but uh, in the, uh, oh, I guess it was probably in the 30s maybe, um, there's this really great pool that's up there, and that's where Johnny Weissmiller, uh, the great Olympic athlete, trained. Um, and it's still there today. It's one of the most beautiful pools in all of Chicago. That's where he trained. and. Um, and won five gold medals because of the work that he did up there. He also set more than 200 world records. I didn't realize that. And like the role of Batman, which, you know, goes from one person to the next, uh, Johnny Weissmiller was the sixth um, Tarzan the Ape Man. Uh, kind of a controversial show now that you look back on it, but it was... Uh, really popular at the time. Um, uh, okay, and here's, uh, oh yeah, and it's the only hotel that actually has doors that open up onto Michigan Avenue. It's a really nice place. Mm, a couple weeks ago, uh, a guy, a 23-year-old guy named Nicholas Weem and his friend, some call her a girlfriend, uh, I don't know, but they finished up dinner at Michael Jordan's, which is a a dive at the bottom of the hotel and they went up to the top where that dome is and you're not supposed to be up there and he started shooting pictures I guess he loved photography and then wanted to get uh, an even better shot so he climbed up that uh, that chimney there uh, that steam is blocking the way right now uh, you can see it sort of in between yeah there it is okay and it's quite a ways up there and Anyway, he got up there, and uh, his girlfriend was down below, and he fell. He fell into the chimney. And um, for a couple of hours, uh, apparently he was conscious and talking to the firefighters. Uh, what they did to rescue him, I guess, was nothing short of, you know, an army operation. Forty-five people just did a really great job. Um, and finally you know, went to the inside and cut him out through the actual steel and pulled him out. But unfortunately, um, he passed away uh, and it turned out to be by trauma, not asphyxiation or whatever. But anyway, so every time I look up there, I look at that chimney and I think about Nicholas Weem, who I've never known, but I think about all the time now.